Now, towns and cities across the country are hosting events and performances this evening as part of Culture Night. 900 venues are staging free events. For more on all of this, our arts and media correspondent Sinead Crowley is standing by and we're talking about a, a feast of events. Uh, Sinead, something to suit all tastes. That's right, I'm here in the Merrion Street, Merrion Square area of Dublin, which is one of the city's many cultural quarters. Lots of galleries, museums and even government buildings around here and all open late tonight and welcoming people in to have a look around. As you can see, the umbrella is up. It has just started raining, but a lot of these events are indoors, so hopefully that won't have too bad an effect. Now, most of the events on Culture Night happen around about now, between 6 and 10 o'clock, but some of them started a little earlier this year and I was out and about on the streets earlier having a look at what was going on. RTE Corn and Oak performed at St Stephen's Green in Dublin this afternoon. Later, passers-by were led on a cultural trail down Grafton Street as Culture Night 2014 got underway. There are 1,400 uh, events in uh, 1,000 venues across the country, so it's really exciting. And I think what's most important is uh, the arts are opening their doors. The basements around Merrion Square are artistic spaces this evening. This installation is by artist Fergal McCarthy. Dublin completely transforms. Uh, you know, it's not a city of pubs and restaurants. It's, it's about culture for one night only, and I really like that. Of course, Culture Night is a nationwide event. This year, the newly opened Kilkishan Cultural Centre is just one of the County Clare venues taking part, while over 70 events will take place in Limerick, the city of culture, including this exhibition of portraits, normally housed in UL, which will be on digital display tonight at RTE Lyric FM. While in Galway, Sparkplug Callaghan has been on a cultural road trip across the county. So this is Tume. The kids are dancing in the streets doing ballet. Next we're off to Clare Galway to the Educate Together School. Then we're at Athenry the Heritage Centre. Then Oran Moore the Library. Then Clarin Bridge the Parish Hall. We're ending up in Convara tonight at 10 o'clock tonight. I think it's great because all the people, we have a lot of different cultures in our school and it's great that we all mix on the same night. All of tonight's activities are free of charge but some do need to be booked in advance. So make sure you plan ahead to make the most out of the evening. Yes, in fact, one of the areas that tends to book out very early is the tours of Leinster House, actually, in this particular area. So it is, as I said, worth checking out in advance to make sure that you can get into what you want to see. But everything free of charge, lots of things worth seeing. If you don't make it out this evening or if you only stay out for a little while, RTE's Arena programme will be live from Temple Bar from 7 o'clock until 10 o'clock tonight with poetry and music and performance and the RTE Concert Orchestra and many other things. So plenty to enjoy, hopefully, this evening, no matter what the weather decides to do.